Hey guys, The Explorer 4 here. Welcome back to some more reviews. And today, I wanted to get into a film that I'd recently checked out that thoroughly surprised me. Uh, this is a film that uh, I actually checked out for the first time on Paramount Plus, and it blew me away enough to where I went and got the 4K. For a steal, it was a very cheap 4K, and I couldn't pass that up. And we'll get into this one here in a minute. Um, of course, this is Event Horizon. Now, this is a 1997 film. Gets a 6.6 .6 on IMDb, directed by, of course, Paul W. S. Anderson. And this is a film that came out right after Mortal Kombat. I believe this was the next project for Paul W. S. Anderson. And this is a very ambitious project. I mean, this is a project that, you know, dealing with sci-fi elements, dealing with spaceships, dealing with the fact that you're making a sci-fi horror film and this was not a sequel or a remake this is a completely new idea and a very original idea and you know the fact that after alien all of the horror sci-fi stuff was getting compared to alien so much and so for him to really take this leap and make this film is very interesting i mean at this time i can't really remember besides like star trek there being a whole lot of outer space sci-fi especially sci-fi horror films i mean maybe i think the same year actually we had alien resurrection but i think this is better than alien resurrection and i don't even hate that movie i actually really enjoy that movie but this is definitely better than that but yeah then horizon this film kind of an infamous flop uh when it came out it didn't make a whole lot unfortunately i think it it was a pretty big flop and had some editing issues when it was originally going to be released. It was a runtime of over three hours, I think, or just shy of three hours. Then it got trimmed down because of that. Then it got trimmed down because of the violence and the gore and stuff. And we ended up with an hour and a half cut of the film, which doesn't really bother me but i would take a three hour cut of this movie i absolutely would i would love to see an extended cut of this film unfortunately i don't think that will happen though because the footage was lost it was stored in pretty bad conditions and it's looking like we're not going to see that footage come back in this movie unfortunately um but event horizon the story of it uh basically it takes place at first it's always about this uh, incident that happened and um basically uh i think it's 2040 there is this ship called the event horizon that disappeared no one knows what happened to it and then seven years later they finally dis receive a distress call or a signal from the event horizon pinpoint its location and they bring along sam neil who is the guy that designed the ship and you have Lawrence Fishburne, you've got Kathleen Qu uh, Quinlan, uh, you've got Jolan Richardson, uh, Richard T. Jones, Jason Isaacs, uh, Sean Pertwee. Uh, just a, a really insane cast here, really good cast here. A lot of people you would go on to see in plenty of other films, uh, and then people that were you know also in films already and at this time Lawrence Fishburne was really getting his career started I think right after this you had the Matrix and just becoming a really big star I thought he did an amazing job as the lead character in this film uh, Lawrence Fishburne did I also love Sam Neill and I love everybody in this cast and I really do think that the cast and the acting and the writing, the direction, the really unique story, the style of it, a lot of positive stuff to this movie. But basically, while they're on this ship looking for what happened to the previous crew, they begin getting these visions and find out that there's this portal there. And basically, it utilizes black hole teleportation, where... It's how to get from one end of the universe to the other. And they utilize the black hole, and you find out that in between this black hole, there was some kind of dimension that took over the ship that was sort of a hellish dimension. They don't say it's hell in specific, but they mention that it's kind of a crazy, hectic, just out of, 
out of its mind hellish type environment. So you have utter madness infecting the ship, almost as if the ship itself is alive. And I love that. I love so, so many things in this movie. This is a film that a lot of people told me about for a long time. This is a film that I was constantly being told to check out because I'm a big fan of Resident Evil and Mortal Kombat. I love those movies. I even really enjoy uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse. And I have fun with Resident Evil Extinction. And all those projects, Paul W.S. Anderson was involved in some way. Uh, I know he directed the first Mortal Kombat, directed the, the first Resident Evil. Love those movies. Um... I think Death Race, I, think, I believe he directed that as well. I thought Death Race was pretty fun. I'll be honest, I haven't seen a whole lot of his other films, though. Did he do Three Musketeers? I want to say he did Three Musketeers. I didn't see that. I didn't see Monster Hunter. I uh, didn't see Pompey. Uh, yeah, he did do Three Musketeers. I think Alien vs. Predator is okay. Not a bad film. But this is, without a doubt, Paul W.S. Anderson's best movie. This is his best movie. This is his most quality film. And I love Mortal Kombat and Resident Evil. But this movie blew me away. Blew me away at how good it was. Uh, first of all, atmosphere. Utilizing atmosphere. Utilizing dread and suspense. The film being trimmed down with the gore. To me, it can kind of go both ways, where I would love to see an extra gory version of this movie, more gore, hey, I'll take that, but I like the idea that it is still brutal, it's still pretty bloody, this ain't no, you know, trimmed down, neutered film, this is a bloody movie, it's still kind of violent, but I would love to see the bloody version, but at the same time, with it not having so much blood in there, it also creates a lot of good suspense, I love the designs of the sets, uh, the practicality of it, the CGI to me for 97 still holds up. It looks pretty good. There's a few scenes where you can maybe tell the CGI is there, but I think the CGI has dated pretty good. I think it looks great. The movie has a fantastic look to it. Some wonderful cinematography in this movie. Um, I love the idea of this machine. Uh, that is basically the gateway in between the hellish dimension and where the ship is currently at. And um, I can't remember if it's called like the Leviathan or something or the Labyrinth. I can't remember what it's called. But it's this really cool looking thing where it's spinning and it's just really neat looking. And that is basically the gateway to this hellish place. And I love the build-up, man. They get there on the ship. There's scenes where there's just blood and flesh on the walls and skulls and skeletons. And you're just wondering for the most of the movie, what happened? Intrigue. Like, what happened? The mystery of it. What happened to this crew? What caused this to happen? It's the mystery that really sucks you into the film and you, you're just interested in it. It's really, really well done. Um, I think Paul Davis Anderson's direction is on point here. I also love the music, love the score. I love the design of the event horizon. It's a cool idea. Uh, the story to me is so awesome. I love the idea of them making almost a haunted house movie on a spaceship to the point to where there's a planet that the spaceship is right next to that has lightning. And so it's almost like the lightning and thunder you would see in a haunted mansion in the ship. Cool idea. And I like how when you go into this movie, at least when I did, I thought it was going to be aliens, another alien movie with creatures. It's really not about that. It's about a dimension that can, you know, the ship itself is infected. And it's causing the people on board to see flashbacks to their past events, regrets, things that they that they would that only they would know. And so I, I really like that idea. Such a cool idea. Such a creepy movie. And the scene that really disturbed me and really creeped me out. There's a scene that's infamous, real infamous, and it was trimmed down, and there's bits and pieces of the footage out there, but it was a very violent scene, apparently. Very graphic, very violent, where we find the footage of what happened to the crew of the Event Horizon. 
and the footage is just, it's real quick. It's like 10 seconds at most. But it is so crazy, so disturbing, that when you finally see it, you finally see what happened to these people. It is shocking, it is disturbing, it is haunting. And it is very, very creepy and effective. Um, very bloody, very violent. Basically an, an orgy of violence and blood and, and craziness. It's an absolutely chilling scene. And... That's the thing. It's effective as a horror film. It's effective as a sci-fi film. I love all the characters. I love the cast. I love the music, the setting, the score. All of it to me was nailed. And that's why, honestly, Event Horizon, after watching it a couple times, this is one of my new favorite horror films. And I avoided it for so long because I was like, well, I don't really, I didn't know much about it other than people told me to check it out. That was all I heard. I didn't ever hear anything about it. I'm not sure what it was, but my God, man, I am so glad I checked this movie out because it ended up being a very pleasantly surprising experience and a very creepy time. And I mean, it's, it's solid. It's up there with alien to me. As far as sci-fi horror films go, this is definitely, I can see why the hype was there. I can see it for a while. I was just like, man, what is this? It's, is it a horror film? A, I don't know what it was. And maybe that's why it wasn't a huge hit, because at face value, you're not really sure what they're doing with it. The plot is one of those plots that unless you market it right, people aren't really going to know what's going on. You know, it's it's a film that, with, with Alien, you know what's happening. The title, the poster, the trailer, says everything you need to know about that. Um, but it, it's, it's like I said, it's one of those films where... At face value, I wasn't really sure what it was. And honestly, it's the best way to go into it. And um, I don't want to spoil a whole lot in this movie, but just do know if you like haunting stuff, if you like a bit of violence, a bit of gore, if you like just disturbing stuff, uh, almost think of it as a haunted house movie on a spaceship. Uh, yeah, Event Horizon is one of my new favorites. I love it to death. I give it a... I honestly give it like a four and a half out of five, possibly a five out of five. I love this movie to death. But anyways, uh, that's about it. I love this movie to death. I really enjoy it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. If you have seen it, let me know your guys' thoughts on this from the comments below. But anyways, that's going to do it for my review on Event Horizon. I highly recommend it. It's very well done. Great suspense. Cool horror film. Really enjoyed it. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Uh, leave a like, comment, let me know your guys' thoughts on this from the in, in the comments below. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Take care. Explorer 4 is out.